Welcome everyone. So today we are going to start with the very first video of Vedic Math. Okay, so I have uploaded a lot of tricks on my channel. Okay, but I thought that let me make a proper series of Vedic Mathematics. Okay, so today is the first video where I am going to show you a multiplication trick. Okay, but please understand for any trick to work, there are certain prerequisites you should remember always. Okay, so the Prerequisite for this trick is that the first digit of your number of your multiplication question should be the same and the last two digits should add up to 10. Okay, so when they add up to 10, that is when you can use this particular trick provided the first digit is same. Okay, so now what will happen is See, please understand. Normally, how do you do this? Okay, you multiply this with what? 4 into 6, that gets you what? 4, 24. So, basically 2 gets carried. And 6 into 3 gets 18. 18 plus 2 gets 20. And this gets cancelled. Then you have 12. 1, 3, 3 into 3 gets you 6, 9. And plus 1 gets you 10. So, you add them. You get 4, 2, 2 and 1 okay but now i'm going to show you a trick with which you can actually do this already okay all you have to do is just okay this mark it's equal to will be for this one okay just multiply the last two digits which is what 4 into 6 that gets you what 24 okay and for the first part of your answer all you have to do is just multiply 3 into the next number that gets you what 12. 3 into 4 that gets you 12. And if you see this answer and this answer is absolutely correct. Okay. Now see understand. Normally we will always write the second part first. Okay. But once you get the hang of this trick you can do this by writing going from your left to right. Okay. So now for again this one. Now 9 into 1. Please understand before going ahead just check everywhere the first digit of your question is the same and 9 plus 1 gets you 10, 3 plus 7 gets you 10, 6 plus 4 also gets you 10. Okay so this will this particular trick will get applied for this particular format only okay. So now again 4 so what is the number which is coming after 4 that is 20 sorry that is 5. So, 4 into 5 gets you 20. Okay. And 9 into 1. Now, always remember, while using this trick or while using any trick of multiplication, whichever I show you, your answer, last digit answer should always be the two digit form. Okay. So, 9 into 1 gets you, actually it gets you just 9. But we will write it in two digit. So, basically that will be what? 9 into 1 will get you 0, 9. Okay, similarly, 3 into, sorry, 8, what is the number which is coming after 8? That is 9. So, 8 into 9 gets you 72 and 3 into 7 gets you 21. Okay, I'm sure you all must be wondering, Acha, what happens when this is the scenario? Okay, sorry. Oh, this is not the scenario, but these scenarios are completely different. I'll change this one. Okay, so 9, what is the number which is coming after 9 that gets you 10? So 9 into 10 gets you 90 and 6 into 4 gets you 24. Okay, so now coming to this one, I'm going to change this. So let's write this as what? 37 into 77. So now, see I understand. Here I have changed it. It has got interchange. The last digit is same and the first digit is adding up to seven, uh, 10. Okay. So when they add up to 10 and the last digit is same, the trick gets changed a little bit, very little. Okay. So understand. Last digit into last digit is what? So basically 7 into 7 gets you what? 49. Okay. Next what you should do is 3 into 7. What you get is 21. Plus, you should just add this number. 
So 21 plus 7 gets you 28. So that is your answer for this particular multiplication and for this particular trick. Just remember, you just multiply the last two di last digits. Okay, so that is what 7 into 7 that gets you 49. Okay, then you have to multiply the first part. That is what 3 into 7 and then you add the last digit. Okay, so here let's very quickly do this. So 4 into 6 gets you how much? 24. Plus you should add the last digit which is 4 again. So you again you will get 28. Okay, and 4 into 4 gets you 16. So answer is 2816 for this particular question. Okay, students if you are liking the way I am explaining then please go ahead and hit the like button and also don't forget at the end I am going to put up a DIY question whose answers you all can mention in the comment section. Okay, so now here we have 9 into 1. Now understand what I said was whenever you get answers in single digit but if it is a power first part of your answer you don't need to write 0 and you can directly write just 9. Okay, so this is 9 and 8 into 8 gets you 64. Okay, so now over here what you have is 8 into 2. Sorry, my bad. This is wrong. Actually, I forgot we have to add as well, right? So 9 into 9 into 1 gets you 9 plus 8 gets you 17 and then 8 into 8 gets you 64. Now again over here, 8 into 2 gets you 16, plus 3 will get you 19, and 3 into 3, now again this is the second part of my answer, so I write it in 2 digit form, that will be 0, 9, again, so 57 into 57, so it is what, 5 into 5, 25, plus 7 will get you 32, and then 7 into 7 is what, 40. So I hope you have understood. It's very just very quickly. Just revise this. Whenever the first digit is same and the last two digits are adding up to 7, what you should uh, adding up to 10, then what you should do is just multiply the last two digits. Okay? And multiply the first part of your question with the consecutive digit. The next number, okay, so 4 will get multiplied by 5, 8 gets multiplied by 9, 9 gets multiplied by 10. And now, whenever you have this kind of a problem where the last digit is same and the first two digits are adding up to 10, then in that case, what you should do is just multiply the last two digits as, as it is and to multiply the first part also, but add the last digit to it. So here I multiply 4 into 6. But that is not just part of my answer. Again I have to add the last digit which is 4. Here also 9 into 1 gets you 9 plus 8 will get you 17. So 17 becomes a part of your answer. Okay. So now for your DIY I want you to tell me what is the answer for 60. Um, 3 into 67. Do let me know your answers in the comment section. So that's it for today. I will see you in the next video.